Okay, here's a LED bulb that's super interesting. Uh, it's called an LED filament bulb. You can see the yellow little uh, lines there. And I guess those are LEDs of some sort. Um, you can see otherwise it's a standard bulb uh, construction with actually a gloss envelope and um, use the interior. If you peek really close down there, you can see some electronic components. Um, can't find a lot of details on the bulb. Um, it, uh, it came from the vendor in a plain white wrapper. Um, it does claim, though, an extraordinary good efficiency, well over 100 lumens per watt. Uh, it's um, super interesting, so uh, we'll analyze it and uh, tear it apart and see what those yellow things are. Okay, flicker test uh, a solar cell and, of course, the bulb lighting up the solar cell. All the other lights are turned off. And uh, when I look at the uh, output of the oscilloscope, I can see um, essentially no flicker. So, uh, a no flicker bulb. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look at power consumption. It says it's a 3.6 watt bulb and the 3.6 watt bulb, so the packaging is uh, accurate. Power factor, not unity, 0.56. Okay, dimmer test. Uh, this bulb is not dimmable. You can see it just has that flashing behavior at uh, low intensities and uh, basically only on or off. Okay, light distribution patterns. Uh, this is a polar graph, and this is the center here, and the further you away from the center, the greater the intensity. And it looks like the sides here, of course, are more intense than the, the top of the bulb, the bulb sort of position uh, in this orientation. Um, and that makes sense, because these uh, filaments look like they're obviously uh, probably creating light on the side, not on the top as much. So it's not a bad pattern, actually. Um, which really leads to the next observation. This is a stunningly good looking bulb uh, in the sense that it really looks like an old incandescent bulb. So uh, if these are LEDs, uh, yeah, this is visually a very uh, interesting bulb. Okay, uh, taking the base off and uh, the glass envelope. It's a blown glass envelope just like uh, an incandescent bulb would have, so uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, buried inside the base here, however, uh, is a circuit board. And um, I'm going to zoom in here. So, okay, uh, so here's the bottom of the circuit board. Uh, it has a uh, full wave rectifier right here and a control integrated circuit and a diode. It, it looks like a traditional uh, AC to DC converter, a little transformer on top, and some smoothing capacitors next to it. Now, for those who might instantly complain, this transformer probably won't make uh, meet CSA or heal requirements. Yeah, probably not. Um, because obviously no insulation there. Uh, however, this thing uh, was clearly meant for uh, the Chinese domestic market. The vendor made no claims of uh, any safety uh, compliance. Okay, I uh, just extracted the filaments. Uh, there's four of them. I've taken one out, but the three remain here, and they're all in parallel. Uh, if I check it with a uh, ohm meter to see if it's a diode, uh, I don't get a reading in uh, either direction. It just recalls, records it to be an overload. So. Uh, if this is a diode, the voltages are relatively high. Okay, voltage check. I just have hooked the power supply up to an AC input, and I'll just turn the switch on. And um, 150 volts DC, and doesn't look like there's much of an AC uh, component to it. So, uh, and because these are all wired in parallel, I guess each of these uh, yellow sticks requires 150 volts across it before it will start to glow. Okay, uh, so here's a microscope view of both ends. Uh, you can see it's a glass frit substrate, and then there's probably some phosphor here coating either side. And there's two sort of pad-like structures on uh, the other end of the product. Uh, but it doesn't seem like it's uh, like a bond wire or anything bonding to like a silicon die of some sort. So, okay, I just have the LEDs connected to a power supply. If you look very closely, you can see there's a pattern there. I guess a glass substrate they've actually somehow uh, deposited on uh, an array of LEDs somehow and uh, then coated it with phosphor. So um, that's really interesting. That's a, a process I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar with in, in terms of LED construction. So if there is a device physicist out there, I would like to hear from you. <laughs>